This is Greg, Anto and Flo from Corrosia and you're watching Stormbringer, the Austrian heavy scene. Corrosia here on my couch now and um, at least three quarters of it. Um, <laughs> uh, you were founded last year, 2017, and you brought out a record already, Corrosia, it's the same title as the band. Uh, tell me a little bit, uh, how was the band founded? How did you found, find together anything? You are from Croatia, by the way, that's, that's why we are talking English. And uh, yeah, how, how did you come together as a band? Uh, well, yeah, I can st do a hold it or you hold it. Uh, so basically we started uh, so I moved to Vienna in 2015 and quite shortly after I, I was like searching for some guys and then I uh, found uh, Greg's ad on, 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 on the web page called Bansuhe and yeah I contacted contacted him and yeah he said yeah let's meet up and then he already had met Flo before uh, like I think once or twice I'm not sure mm. and yeah since then uh, we kind of knew each other but we we kind of wanted to do a band, but we never have. And then uh, last year we just said, yeah, let's do something serious. And yeah, we started out in July. And yeah, we also know Chris from uh, just some jams, you know, jam sessions here in Vienna. Mm. Also, we met him last year or in 2016, I'm not sure I now. I think late 2016, yeah, early yeah. 2017. Yeah. Yeah. So, um you define your style as progressive sludge <laughs> yeah, <kinda. laughs> uh, can, can you please explain shortly what what this about what how can we imagine this if, if you don't know anything of it huh well yeah i mean okay i would say uh yeah i mean progressive because it has some weird time signatures and changes and stuff like that like the song structures you know but sludge i mean sludge is just ballsy you know screaming mm -hmm. and being angry and low tuned and slower rhythms and yeah tempo changes too so it's hard, but still complicated. Exactly. Yeah, we have also influence from from other genres as as doom metal or. I mean, really, really a lot of different influences, from progressive metal, sludge, doom, death metal a little bit. I think. Mm. Yeah, but mm. we called it progressive sludge. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't. Yeah, it's, 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 an, it's another draw we can open. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we we didn't want to to really do something where we fit in one specific genre like say we make like traditional sludge or, or traditional doom so we kind of yeah we came up with with what we can come up <laughs> and yeah we just called it that yeah you want to say something <laughs> no you look, you, it's quiet <laughs> over there <laughs> um uh, now you played with the uh, with the skull uh two days ago in, in Viper Room uh, and I saw you there once playing, it was very intense music and uh, uh, how was the how was the gig with the Skull? Was it, a, was it a, a gig you anticipated a lot because they're right some kind of heroes in the scene? Yeah sure, I mean it was pretty epic I would say it was a, I mean it was Sunday evening so that it wasn't, the place wasn't really filled out, you know, it wasn't really packed but that also gave it another image, you know, it, it was kind of quite I don't know. It was like it had some. It had some intimacy, you know. It was really mm -hmm. cool. living room. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> yeah. It was actually cool. And I we met some dudes from from the skull, and I was really nice talking to them, and yeah, super cool. So was it a dream come true for you? Yeah, definitely. I mean, playing with them. Yeah, sure. sure I mean, I mean, dudes from from Cathedral and Trouble, and, and yeah. yeah. And I, I mean, we have to mention that we also opened for Crowbar uh, in July. That was that was a trip. That was yeah. that was really good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's the way you should make it. I uh, just found a band and just try to get into the yeah. the bigger mm -hmm. the bigger bands, right? Yeah. yeah, it's always an honor to open for bands like like Crowbar or, or Dope Lord. Do we opened for Dope mm -hmm. Lord as mm -hmm. well. Just bands who inspire you and influenced you. Mm. Yes, you brought out a record. It's called uh, Corrosion as well. Um, did you do it all in the DIY style? Like uh, everything was was the artwork and everything, the music, the studio, and everything. Because you you are independent, you are not on the label, right? Yeah, 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 uh, yeah. I mean, we did it basically 
like I would say 90% ourselves. Now we had some help with, with drum recordings because obviously drum setting the the most difficult part to record. Obviously mm -hmm. when you're starting out, and also we had a, a friend of ours who did the cover for us. Mm -hmm. I mean we had the idea of it, but none of us is actually an artist. I mean drawing wise and, and painting wise. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we had uh, some help there, but it was, I mean I would say like 90% 90, 90 definitely our own stuff. Mm -hmm. Uh, was it a, a good experience for you? It was the first record you you did together, of course. Yeah, of course, yeah, it <laughs> yes. was. It was, it was a good experience. Yes, it was difficult, of course. Difficult, of course. It took us a bit. Uh, I wouldn't say it took us that long, but we had to to kind of figure out and and learn how to do it uh, while doing it because we never did it before, obviously. Mm -hmm or as a band at least i mean he he does this uh, he mixes he records uh, his stuff he did yeah, he started that stuff yeah. already some mm -hmm. years ago he does this for some years and he had a lot of experience he had all the the skills how to mm. how to mix uh master and yeah mm. but it was was a good experience was was awesome. It's always good to have one guy with home recording in the in the band. Yeah, <laughs> cheap at least. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's it's the way to do it nowadays. Yeah, yeah, well, for many bands, even for yeah. the bigger ones. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And it actually wasn't the plan to be an album. Firstly, mm -hmm. so we just uh, wanted to do an EP or an LP, mm -hmm. and then it was actually good enough to maybe say, okay, when we work longer on it, then it would be good enough for a real al album. So that's where he put his know-how in, and then there was the album coming out. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and it, it's available on Amazon and uh, Bandcamp, right? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, you should watch out for it. Uh, anyway, Spotify it's um, or Spotify. Or stream, yeah. Streaming platforms, yeah. 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 Definitely worth to look for and hear, hear it. Um, now the, the cover motif is uh, it reminds me a bit of a, of an icon um, painting yeah. with yeah. like a, it shows like a Virgin Mary with yeah. a child yeah. but yeah. instead of the child there is a lizard or something yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> is this a, a a theme <laughs> in the band with the, because there is also a song called Reptoids right yeah exactly yeah I mean the the, the cover kind of combines most of the songs and themes in the, on the album but yeah I mean obviously it has like the the, the it's like the priestess of doom you know which is the opening track mm -hmm. and also reptoids and yeah there's also some other stuff on the cover like and also on the back that that uh go well together with, with uh, the lyrical yeah. themes and yeah ideas mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, yeah it's it's not a concept album but definitely like there, there's some connections mm -hmm. between songs and art and everything so yeah. it's a theme right it is a theme. <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> but you know there's this weird theory right with the reptoids oh, yeah, uh, yeah, oh, yeah. taking over yeah, control yeah, yeah, and everything definitely, definitely. i mean the song reptoids yeah, is exactly. about it yeah. Yeah, yeah and it's i mean i'm, I'm really into that yeah. not just not all yeah. the theories you know everything yeah. just reading about it it's just we could go on we could <laughs> make a separate yeah, separate we'll make a separate interview yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah but uh, who did the artwork by the way uh maxim shapov he's a guy from russia basically when us three first met, he was supposed to be our bassist back then, you know, in 2015. And somehow we just like, we, we separated. And then uh, we kind of stayed in, in touch after that. But uh, I mean, it's, we, we knew he was doing some art, you know, I think he, uh, no, I, I know he studied also graphic design and he's really into uh, doom and sludge music as well. And he's like really, he's a, he's a cool guy to like come with music ideas and like to connect music and art. It's really, really cool. Yeah, it really fits the music, mm. the, the, the artwork and everything. There's a song on the album called, um, I have to look it up, <laughs> Aquilegia vulgaris. Oh, yeah. It's a, it's a plant. Yeah, basically. It's Aquilae yeah. in, in German. Um, um, why, why is this plant deserving a song? Um, can you smoke it or something? <laughs> well, you, I, I'm, I'm sure you can try it out, you know. <laughs> I'm not sure how it would end, but yeah. Uh, yeah, basically that's, that's an, a short instrumental and i think i came up with it last year sometime in summer i know when i was at home and so basically my home is in bosnia and uh there is an aquilegia uh, grata no uh, sorry aquilegia bosnian i think or something like that it's a latin i'm not even sure what is it, what's the name anyways that's like a, a specific plan for for the for the area of basically balkans you know and i really like the like the 
name of it, you know, and also like the, the the fact that I came up with it there, and it's just just uh, the name kind of didn't really fit, so I just like took took Vulgaris because it sounds like kind of vulgar, you know, like mm -hmm. something yeah, yeah, weird. Yeah. yeah, but it's basically, and I also like the flower, and it's, it looks yeah. really cool. So don't smoke it, right? Smoke, yeah, right. yeah. We can try. It. Just oh, don't try it. Let, let us know. Let us know how it <laughs> went. <laughs> <laughs> Um, now you're from Luxembourg. You're from Croatia, originally. Uh, you're from Austria. I'm from yeah. South Tyrol, actually. South Tyrol. So you're Italian, basically. So, I, yeah. <laughs> so it's a quite. It's not. It's not even an Austrian band, right? No. no. <laughs> it's right, really international band. It's a strange thing about it. Yeah. 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 We all came here to study. Yeah. Um, and we we met here. I mean, none of us is from Austria, but. I think Vienna is the city who obviously connected us and it's just it's just a, a super nice city to live in so we identify as a Viennese yeah. band. So uh, where, where is the bass player from? Is he from Austria? He's from Germany actually. Bavaria. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> that's not <Germany>. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's that's not basically not Germany. That's <laughs> basically basically Austria. One of the yeah. better parts. Yeah. <laughs> but let's say he's from here. Yeah. <laughs> but um uh how how do you how do you see the the band scene in in Vienna in Austria especially in Vienna here where you have you your mm -hmm. room and everything? Um, it's I mean there's a lot lots of bands obviously. I mean I'm not that into into the scene. I'm not that involved. I don't follow it that closely really, but. We met a lot of bands, obviously playing here. There's great bands. There's super nice guys here. Um, yeah, sometimes it's. I mean, we talked about it. It's kind of like musicians play for musicians. You know, there's yeah, not yeah, a huge yeah. fan base here. Everybody's in a band. Exactly. <laughs> so, yeah, but but I would say uh, it's cool to play here, and there's chill people in those bands and. Yeah. Obviously, there could be a, a bigger scene in in terms of sludge metal or doom metal. Yeah, there's still some good bands, I would say. I mean, I can give out give out like a shout out to uh, Throws definitely and Tarlang. The, those two bands are really good. That they, they are still active. And you know? there was also Iron Hill, Iron Hill, which is a which was a band and was a, they kicked ass. Mm -hmm. But I mean. Unfortunately, yeah, they don't yeah. play anymore. I know the Trolls guys. Yeah, yeah. really good band. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Maybe you can yeah. also mention Lothar. They're more like mm. post, yeah. post doom, like more of a rock vibe to it. Post progressive so sludge. Exactly. <laughs> something like that. Yeah. If if you want to sound trendy, you just have to put a post in front of your <laughs> yeah. in front of your genre. Yeah. <laughs> or yeah, we also got that. Yeah, there, there was there was uh, guys who said like post sludge. I, uh, the post -lodge, I don't even know that the, that this exists, you know, like post what is that? Yeah. So I guess, yeah, I <laughs> we, we can it invent it. really post. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like what comes after yeah. the real genre, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. So but I guess we're not real sludge. Yeah. 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 Okay. Damn. <laughs> Basically we invent those genres, but we <laughs> don't know what, don't know what they mean. So yeah, yeah. it's just name yeah. dropping and yeah. just, yeah. yeah. I mean, I think all the idea about genres and all those names is just stupid, you know, just music, you know, because all the, all the great bands, you can actually identify them with any genre. They're like, you know, like Opeth. What is that? You know, yeah. they say death metal. Yeah, it's not really, it's just like progressive band that takes Gojira. next steps, you know, and Gojira, obviously, and yeah. all, all, the, all those great bands, you know, just, yeah. yeah. Uh, by the way, we have a little article on Stormbringer about the genres. You can look it up. It's in German though, but um it's 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 pretty informative and, and funny as well, I I hope. So yeah, a little bit of advertisement here. Um yeah, so guys, um what what are the next steps for you? R any recording, any big, bigger shows, any plans? Well, yeah, I mean <laughs> more music. <laughs> yeah of course. Yeah, definitely know. more gigs and uh, we would like to play some festivals next year. We have to see about that and then also um yeah i mean new albums new music hopefully we start something next year early next year we'll see you know how this goes we don't want to force anything you know we want to make it sound good you know we, we're not really into yeah we have to make an album by mid next year you know it just has to be good but yeah i mean just more music more playing that's mm -hmm. that's all there is <laughs> same you want to do yes i mean we <laughs> we started to write some new stuff just now and yeah, we're looking forward to do more of that and just try to make it as, as good as possible and yeah.
So the vibes inside the band is a good one, and yeah, always I, I can feel it. Mm -hmm. yeah, there's a good vibe here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about the bass player, but... Yeah. <laughs> can, can, you, can you smell the vibe? Yeah, it's yeah. Just, it's all it smells sweet. <laughs> sweet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, so I hope we hear a lot of Corrosion in, in the future. Yeah, and, me too. And we, we also hope yeah, that. Yeah. <laughs> you will definitely. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and um, yeah, look out for the guys uh, if they play live or just stream their songs on, on Amazon and whatever. Yeah, I say thank you having me on my red couch here. Thank um, you yeah. and having us. Yeah, it was a, it was a pleasure. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thanks.